Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Pabli. So in this video we are going to learn how to share blog or post to Discord via Bitly. So the idea here is that whenever you create a new post into your blogger account, automatically the same post should be shared on the Discord channel via Bitly. But here the question is how to do this? Just because there is no direct connection between blogger and Discord. So first let us check this in the real time and then we will move on to the integration process. So this is my blogger account and this is my discord channel named Pabli team. So now I want that whenever I create a new post here in my blogger account, automatically the same post should be shared here on my discord channel also. So let us create a new post by clicking on this new post. So I'll just give the title as India's Space Revolution. I'll add a content over here. Along with this title and this content, I want an image to be uploaded. So I'll just select any of the image from my system. Okay, let us select this one. The image is getting uploaded over here. Let's click on select. I'll just maximize the size of this particular image. Let's click on publish and confirm. Okay, and here we can see the post is published. Let us view this post. And here we can see the post. Now let us check our Discord channel. I'll refresh it. And here we can see a new post. A new blog is out on my blogger. Show your love to it. And here we can find a link. So I'll just click on the link. Okay, and here we are redirected to the blogger post. So now here you might be wondering that I just created a new post in my blogger account over here and automatically the same post is shared on my discord channel also. So how did I manage to do this? So let me tell you this has become possible just because of the automation and integration process. So in order to create an integration between blogger and discord we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating Blogger with Discord automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So first we are going to create an integration between Blogger and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect is going to capture the details of the post that we have created in the Blogger account and using those details of the post automatically a new post will be created into the discord channel via bitly and in this way we are going to learn that how we can create an integration between blogger and discord using pabli connect so let us learn the integration process now for this let us type p a b b l y pabli.com in our browser this is the website of pabli here we have to come to products and click on pabli connect this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option. You can create your own account in just 2 minutes by clicking on this option. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I will simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as blogger to discord integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens Action means do this. So in this use case, we want the data to be captured from blogger. So in the trigger window, we are going to select the application name as Google Blogger. In the trigger event, we have to select new post added. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and connect with Google Blogger. Now here we have to choose an account. So I'll just select the account name from here. Public Connect Blogger wants additional access to your Google account. Okay, so I'll just click on continue 
and give away the access as the data is 100% safe with Public Connect. Authorization successful and now the Google Blogger account is connected to Public Connect. Now here we have to select the blog ID. So I'll just take you to my blogger account and this is the blog ID. So here you can see that it is automatically captured. Now here we have to select the status. So you want the status to be only live or only draft or only scheduled. So in my case, I want the status to be only live. It means whenever the new post is live, then only this trigger should run. Okay. Now before clicking on save and send test request, first let us create a new post into the blogger account. Just because after clicking on this option, it is going to capture the latest response. So I'll just go to the blogger account. Here I'll just click on this plus sign, new post. Here we have to give the title and here we can give the content. So I have already added the title as India has updated the travel rules for the travelers. And here I'll just add a random text. Okay. Along with this text and the title, I want an image to be uploaded. So I'll just go to the insert image option. I'll upload it from the computer. I'll select the file. Okay. So I have many files over here in my downloads. So I'll select this traveler's image. Image is getting uploaded over here. Okay, let's click on select. And here we can see that the image is uploaded. I'll just maximize the size of this image. Okay, and let's click on publish. Publish post. This will publish this post to your blog. Okay, let's confirm it. And here we can see the post is published. Let us click on this view button. And here we can see the title along with the content and the image is properly posted. Now let us move back to public connect and now we are going to click on save and send test request. And here we can see that the response is received and all the details related to the post are captured over here. Here we can find the blog ID. This is the updated date and time. This is the blogger URL. Okay, I'll scroll down. Here we can find the title. This is the content of the post. Okay, here we can see the image URL and all other details. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes this may take some time in fetching the data as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently, the data will surely arrive. So now here we can see this blogger URL, it is quite big in size. So I want to shorten this URL, okay, so that I can share it on my Discord channel. So I'll just use the bit.ly application here. So come to the action window and here in the application name, we are going to select bit.ly. In the action event, we have to select shorten link. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and connect with bit.ly. So as I am already logged into my bit.ly account, it is asking authorize Pabli to use this account. Okay, so let's click on allow. Authorization successful. And now the bit.ly account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here you can see that the group name is automatically captured. Now here we have to give the long URL. Enter URL to shorten. An example is also given. So we are going to uh, map the blogger URL over here this one okay so let us map blogger URL over here from Google blogger and this was the URL and let's click on save and send test request okay and here we can see that the URL is shortened okay this was the long URL and here we can find the short URL okay now we want to share this particular post on the discord channel for this come to this plus sign and click on add action step in the application name, we are going to select Discord. In the action event, we have to select send channel message. Click on connect. Here we have to give the webhook URL. So enter your webhook URL. Follow these steps to get the webhook URL from your Discord account. So I'll just click on this. Okay, and here we can find all the instructions that how we can enter the webhook URL to the Discord channel. Okay. So now I'll just go back to Pabli Connect. Here we have to give the webhook URL. For that, we have to go to the Discord channel first. So this is my Discord account. 
here you can see that I have created several servers over here. If you want to create a new server, you can create it by clicking on this plus sign add a server. Okay, so I have created a server name Pabli team where I have a default channel name general. So here let us create a channel by clicking on this plus sign create channel. I'll just select the channel type as the text channel. I'll give the channel name as Pabli members. Okay, and let's click on create channel. So we have created a new channel named Pabli members. Now we want that the post should be created over here. For that we have to come click on this edit channel option, the settings. And here we can find the integrations tab. Click on integrations. And here we can see the webhooks option. Simply click on create webhook. Here we have to give the name of the bot. So I'll just change the bot name as blogger posts. And let's click on save changes. So I'll simply copy this webhook URL from here. We'll go back to Pabli Connect and we'll be pasting the same webhook URL over here. Okay. Now here we have to give a message. So I'll just type the message. A new blog is out on my blogger. Share your love to it. And here I'll just give the link. So I'll just uh, edit a little bit. And uh, we have already shortened the link. So let us map the link. Okay. This is the link of the blogger post. Here we have to give the bot name. So the bot name is blogger post. We have to give the same name over here. That is blogger post. Here you can map the bot, bot icon. So I'm just leaving it as blank. Text to speech disable. Choose if the text to speech is enabled. So you can choose this particular option as per your requirement. So in my case, I'm just keeping it as disable. And now let us click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. Now let us check our Discord channel. I'll just close this window. Okay, and here we can see a new blog is out on my blogger. Show your love to it. And here we can find the link of the blogger post. So I'll just click on this link. And here we are redirected to the blogger post. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. Now let us move back to Pabli Connect and I'll just save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. Now we have to check this in the real time. For that, I'll again go to the blogger account. And here we are going to create a new post. By clicking on this plus sign new post. I have added the title name as Energy Conservation Day 2021. Okay, I'll just add the text over here. Along with that, I'll just add an image also. So let's add the image from insert image, upload from system, choose files. Okay, and let us select this image. The image is getting uploaded over here. Let us select it. Okay, and here let's click on publish. And confirm. So we have created a new post. Let us view it first. And here we can see that the title, content and the image is posted in the blogger account. Now let us check our Discord channel. I'll refresh it. And even after refreshing, we can't find our new post over here. Just because I have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to retrieve the data. So let's wait for some time. And here after 5 minutes I can see a new blog is out on my blogger. Show your love to it and here we can find the link. So I'm just going to click on this link. And here we are on our blogger post. So in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So I'll just go back to Pabli Connect. And I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. Okay, and this one also. So first we have created an integration between Google Blogger and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect has captured all the details related to the post that we have created. Then we have used Bitly to shorten the link of the post. And after that, using all these details, a new post is created on the Discord channel. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between Google Blogger and Discord using Pabli Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. And to know the pricing details, you can visit this particular URL. 
Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.